How long have we been told that the Netherlands will soon disappear? Will King Young Un end up causing the disappearance of his country and one or two neighboring countries at the same time? And Belgium? Is it true that it is doomed to annihilation? Watch this video until the end, because these 30 countries you will see are all condemned to disappear soon. Nepal is a very small country landlocked in the Himalayas between India and China and bordered by the highest mountains in the world. Because of its landlocked status, the country is almost totally dependent on its Indian neighbor, with whom it shares many social and economic ties. But because of its political, cultural and financial hegemony, Nepal could literally be absorbed by India in the near future, thus becoming a de facto Indian state and losing its own national sovereignty forever. I'm sure you have never heard of Kiribati. They are an island state lost in the middle of the Pacific Ocean and are composed of 33 heavenly atolls, but which barely rise above sea level. The inexorable rise of the waters means that this country will disappear sooner or later, and the most optimistic forecast only give it about 50 years before being totally submerged. We stay in the islands with the Republic of Palau, an island nation located in Micronesia and whose territory is spread over several hundred islands, of which only a few are inhabited. This idyllic archipelago is however seriously threatened by global warming, whose harmful consequences are increasingly felt by the population. The depletion of fish and the destruction of coral make this small country is condemned to disappear in the more or less long term. Ethiopia is a country with one of the oldest civilizations in the world and a glorious past. However, fratricidal wars between several regions, some of which are fiercely demanding their independence, could lead to its fragmentation and thus to its disappearance. Kosovo is a country that gained independence only in 2008 and even today it is still not recognized by the European Union and only 87 UN member countries have formally recognized Kosovo as an independent and sovereign state. The territory is claimed by Serbia, although the majority of Kosovo's population is ethnic Albanian. The inter-ethnic tensions and the violence they generate do not weigh in the balance of Kosovo and the small state may well disappear from the map. For several years now, Syria has been a huge battlefield where ethnic, political and religious violence rages and causes hundreds of thousands of deaths and injuries. Syria is considered today as the most dangerous country in the world, which does not bode well for its future and its almost programmed collapse. Somalia is a country infamous for its deadly famines and endless civil wars, which have put the nation to fire and blood since the beginning of 1991. No one can forget the terrible images of young children suffering from malnutrition and tens of thousands of refugees fleeing the conflict zones. The country is still not out of the woods, since fighting and violence are still raging. And at the rate things are going, its collapse is almost inevitable. North Korea may have the atomic bomb, but it is one of the poorest countries in the world. Most of the population lives in miserable conditions. Placed between the hammer and the anvil of the communist regime, which does not hesitate to crush them without any mercy. The risk of this nuclear state collapsing is thus very high and many analysts predict that a popular revolution could finally unite the two Korea under the banner of South Korea. Madagascar is a gigantic island with an amazing biodiversity of fauna and flora, but unfortunately this island continent suffers from a very big problem of deforestation, which threatens to transform the country into an arid desert. The population of the country, which practices excessively slash and burn agriculture, is indeed sharing forests several times millenniums old. We can't make this video without talking about the low countries. Indeed, since our birth, we have been taught that the low countries are called like this precisely because they are below the sea level and, as such, they are capable of disappearing at any time. However, we have to admit that the Dutch are in great shape and in my opinion, they will be here for a long time. Mexico is the 16th economic power in the world, but it is also one of the most violent countries on the planet. The different drug cartels make a reign of terror without name and we don't even count anymore the homicides and the kidnappings, which became commonplace there. 
The exploding criminality and the almost endemic corruption make Mexico a country that could very soon collapse. Bangladesh is a country where most of the territory is less than 12 meters above sea level. This geographical situation does not bring anything good to the country, since it has to face every year natural disasters of very large scale, such as floods, tropical cyclones, tornadoes or even gigantic tsunamis. Since the time of King Mushushu I, the people of Lesotho have feared that their country would disappear into the majestic South Africa. To make matters worse, Lesotho is one of the poorest countries in the world, ranking 168th on a list of 191 countries. The state, which is entirely landlocked within the gigantic South Africa, is constantly on the brink of collapse due to its failing economy and political tensions. From now on, for Norwegians, Belarus will be called that, not Fyterusland, which literally means Belarus. This change of nomenclature is far from being insignificant, since it shows the support of Norway and Scandinavian countries to Belarus, in a perspective of emancipation from the Soviet bloc, and of its rapprochement to the Western world. At the rate things are going, Ukraine is well on its way to disappearing completely from the map, replaced most probably by a puppet state under the pay of the Russian regime. In any case, this is what the Russian leader Putin wants, and it must be said that he is doing everything possible to achieve this. The war in Ukraine is indeed turning in favor of the Russian Federation. And this despite the billions of dollars in military and logistical aid that the Ukrainian state receives from its western counterparts. Lost in the middle of the vast Pacific Ocean, the Polynesian archipelago of Tuvalu is composed of nine atolls of splendid beauty. But this paradise archipelago is unfortunately doomed to disappear pure and simple because of the inexorable rise of the ocean level. Indeed, Tuvalu has already lost large parts of its territory, which are now totally submerged while the remaining lands have become infertile because of the salinity of the sea water. The Marshall Islands are a small state in Micronesia whose territory is made up volcanic islands and coral atolls of rare beauty. But this country still bears the scars of the Great War, as well as the nuclear test of the American army, which exploded 67 atomic bombs, mainly on the island of Bikini. According to some, these islands are still radioactive, and it would be better not to go near them. In addition, this archipelago also suffers from the spectacular rise in water levels, which nibbles a little more land every day. It is estimated that these magnificent coral atolls will have completely disappeared within 60 years at the most, which would be a huge loss for the whole of humanity. The Great Wall of China is the most imposing architectural structure ever built by human beings so that it is literally visible from space. More than 6,700 kilometers long, this defensive wall allowed the Chinese Empire to draw its borders and to protect itself from the Mongol invasions, although this last goal was not really reached. But if the Great Wall is today an invaluable cultural heritage for the Middle Kingdom, the work is slowly succumbing to erosion and climatic conditions. More than 2,000 kilometers of the wall has fallen into ruin or outright collapse, which represents about 30% of its total surface. And if nothing is done to save it, it is very likely that this architectural marvel of the past will be completely destroyed. Majuli is an island located on the turbulent Brahmaputra River in the Indian state of Azam. This island has an area of 447 km square, but it should be noted that at the beginning of the 20th century, Majuli covered 1,250 km square, making it one of the largest river islands in the world. Due to the advanced erosion and the melting of the main Himalayan glaciers, this territory is therefore doomed to disappear inexorably by 2050. Since the fall of the Gaddafi regime in 2011, Libya has never reached such a level of violence and decay, to the point that its total collapse is hanging by a threat. The country that once blazed with oil wealth and unwavering security is now a vast battlefield, where the risk of being killed is almost omnipresent. 
Within a little more than 390 billion trees, the Amazonian forest, which extends on 5.5 million kilometers square, is undoubtedly the largest of the whole planet. But not for much longer, unfortunately, because deforestation has caused havoc and it is estimated that a large part of the Amazon jungle has been completely cleared. At this rate, we will eventually be able to say goodbye forever to the Amazon and its incredible plant and animal diversity. Ah, Venice and its romantic gondola rides, iconic bridges and picturesque homes. But all this may no longer be ancient history, as the beautiful Italian city is also threatened by the general rise in seawater. Moreover, these buildings, mostly built on wooden piles, are constantly under the risk of collapsing. Not to mention the very frequent floods that occur every year. When we talk about the collapse of a country, we don't necessarily think about Belgium, as this country is one of the great European and world powers. But you should know that the Kingdom of Belgium is literally torn by an identity crisis, since the population is divided between the Flemish region, exclusively Dutch-speaking, and the Walloon region, which is of French-speaking descent. The separatist movements on both sides of Belgium want to secede and proclaim their independence, which of course will condemn Belgium as we know it today, to disappear from the map. But don't worry, it's not for tomorrow morning. We'll be able to keep on playing soccer with Belgium for a long time to come. Since its exit from the European Union, the United Kingdom is waiting in a political, economic and social stagnation never seen since the Great War. Britain is thus doomed to break up of its structural core, which means that Scotland or Ireland could well leave the Union and proclaim their independence in the very near future. The Maldives has become a dream destination with its small coral atolls and beautiful white sand beaches. But the country risks to see 80% of its surface being completely engulfed by water. And this in the next 30 years, that is to say before 2050. So a little advice, start saving now if you want to have a chance to visit this beautiful country before it collapses. Iraq is part of the unenviable list of the 10 most violent countries in the world. Since the last Gulf War, the country is in ruins and its institutions are all corrupt. Homicides, attacks and other kidnappings are almost daily. Taiwan may only have a year or two left to live as a free and sovereign country. The American intelligence services have declared that China could invade Taiwanese territory before 2024.